like to talk about is what doesn't work, why direct mail hasn't worked. Because I think everyone has some idea about direct mail, but not really sure what, what works and doesn't work. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about what um, does work, of course, and then I'd also like to speak about what you can do yourselves. Because you don't actually have to hire a direct mail company. Uh, you can actually do certain things yourselves, and I think it's really the value of both what the chamber can do for the community, offer things like this, but what people can do for themselves. There's really not necessary all the time. Hey, Amy. Hi. Uh, mm -hmm. And then, really, we'll just talk. I have the examples of things that we'll go through and sort of pull some of them out, but you can ask questions about these and so forth. And uh, we can even go into not just questions and answers, but we can go a little bit into where direct mail is heading. I don't want to bring too many macro stuff down to local. I think, really, I'd like to speak to your, each of your instances. So things that you have questions about to what you're doing <coughs> uniquely may bring in some national issues, but most likely it's going to be something I can't just guess. You've got to tell me. So the first thing we'll do is talk a little bit about um, uh, what direct mail is not. So there's four things I have uh, about what direct mail is not. And the first thing I want to tell you, direct mail is not, check this direct mail is not dead. All right? There's this idea now that everyone says, direct mail is dead, the internet killed direct mail. No, the internet did not kill direct mail. I think postal management helped. You know, they put a nail, I wasn't in the coffin, but they certainly weren't their own um, helping hand on this. Uh, the other thing that direct mail is not, is that it, it is um, not expensive, all right? So, let's put this here, I got it better. Direct mail is not, I can read this, you can't, that's okay. <laughs> it's not dead, it is not expensive. Uh, people think it's expensive. Well, email is, you know, didn't cost me anything, it's an email. But if you take a look at email, uh, you'll see that the average inbox in the United States is 8,000 emails. 20% of the country has 20,000 more emails in their in, you know, inbox. So the oversaturation of email, oddly, is making direct mail almost, I wouldn't say looking sexy, but it makes it look uh, as almost an alternative again. In the way that when the recession hit, direct mail was at its peak. 2007 was the biggest volume of the United States Postal Service at all, and then the recession kind of hits, and then it sort of naturally goes down. Direct mail had to find a new altitude, but it's not dead. It's just, you know, how do we use it street smart? Uh, direct mail is not a silver bullet. In the past, people would do, you know, we've got to get a mailing campaign and sit back, all right, let's wait it happen. It doesn't work like that, of course. They never really did. But when you didn't have other options, it, it worked at its level, and it did work for certain things. Uh, direct mail uh, is probably better used in conjunction with other efforts, but how you use it in conjunction with other efforts is really a matter of just talking it through and seeing what makes sense. <coughs> and direct mail is really not a substitute for other efforts. So I've seen this happen, and we go through some examples of this, where people, let's say you got everything right, you send out direct mail, but you, you're not really set up to win. Um, and some of the reasons are not to jump ahead, but you, you know, you got crappy hours. Um, you didn't actually um, have train people how to pick up the phone. You know, in my office, you pick it up in two rings, any line. Anyone calls, it does not go to voicemail. So again, three things. Direct mail is not dead. It's really not expensive. We'll talk about that. It's not a silver bullet. It's not a substitute for other efforts.